Welcome to That'sCoolWire.com solder room. In this video, we're going to show you how to solder on a male connector onto your EL wire. Before we get started, I just want to show you some of the required tools. You need some needle nose pliers, wire cutters, soldering iron, a heat gun, some PVC glue or silicone, and solder. On our website in our accessory section, we have what's called as a five pack. And the five pack is just great if you're gonna do your own soldering. You get five male connectors, five end caps, and all the shrink tubing that you need. The first step in soldering a connector onto the EL wires, we have to remove some of this outer blue jacket. So I'm gonna do it with the uh, regular wire strippers. We're gonna set it on 20 gauge, score the outside jacket, and then pull it off. And what you're left with is the center core wire and two little hair thin wires. I'm also going to show you how to do it with the automatic wire stripper. So we're going to just cut this off. Oop, there's some business, but we're going to keep going. With the automatic wire strippers, you just take the 2.2 EL wire, and these are only really great for the 2.2, put them in the center and squeeze. We're left with the same thing, two hair thin wires. Let's move those hair thin wires back towards the EL wire side. The next step is we want to cut the center core wire about halfway or just a little bit more than halfway. Now we want to scrape off this white coating, which is the phosphorus coating. This is what actually lights up. You can do it with the razor blade, but we're going to do it with the wire strippers. Go to the smallest size and just kind of go on an angle and peel it off. It'll just pop right off. Now we're going to take the needle nose pliers and we're going to bend this into a little hook. So now what you're left with is the you have a hook shape at the end of that wire and the two little hair thin wires. The next step is we want to put the shrink tubing on, so move the hair thin wires back. We're going to grab the largest piece of shrink tubing, put it on the EL wire side. We're also going to grab the middle size shrink tubing and put it on. <clears throat> now we're going to grab our connector. The male connector has uh, the two wires on it. One is shorter than the other. Sometimes on the longer wire, you'll see the jacket's still left on the tip of it. Just peel that off. So we're just going to take our nail, go underneath, and slide it off. We're now going to grab the absolute smallest piece of shrink tubing and slide it onto the um, shortest wire. So what we have now is the largest piece of shrink tubing, the middle-sized piece of shrink tubing, and then the smallest piece of shrink tubing. Make sure they're all moved away from where we're about to solder because they will shrink as the, heat, as the solder starts heating that area up. Next step is grab the two hair thin wires, move them out of the way, take the shortest wire, go underneath the hook, bend it over, and just wrap it around the hook you just made. Now we're ready to solder. We're going to go underneath, put a little solder on the soldering iron. You don't want to put a lot of solder in this area, just put a small enough of a solder ball to make sure you have a great connection. Move the hair thin wires back, make sure they're nowhere near the center, near that solder ball. Slide the shrink tubing over, just like that. And now we're going to go to the heat gun and shrink that. You want to spin this as you're heating it. If you're using a lighter, just don't put direct flame on it. Just kind of go underneath and in and out, and you'll see it shrink. The next step is to take the middle size shrink tubing and slide it over. We're going to go right past those hair thin wires. Grab those hair thin wires and pull them back to the EL wire side. Slide this over, and we're going to go about a sixteenth of an eighth of an inch onto the blue EL wire jacket with the second piece of shrink tubing. 
Go to the heat gun. And we're going to shrink that again, spin it. And what that's going to look like right now is you're going to have the two hair thin wires with the second piece of shrink tubing. Grab the next connector wire, the second connector wire, just lay it straight across. Grab those two hair thin wires and just bend them over the top. And pinch those together so they're held in place. Now take the wire from the connector and wrap it around the second piece of shrink tubing. And just keep wrapping it until you can't wrap it anymore. It's about two and a half, three times. Find those two little hair thin wires. And we're going to wrap that around the wire. So everything is now going to be connected. Grab the soldering iron, put a little solder, go underneath. Again, don't put too much solder in that area. Take the last piece of shrink tubing and slide it over. Again, you don't want the solder joint to come out the end, so you want to center this. And now we're ready to shrink this. We're going to go to the heat gun. Spin it. This one's going to take a little bit longer, but spin it. This one has adhesive in the center, so as you heat it, you'll see some glue coming out the edges. That's when you know you've, you've heated it enough. I see it coming out there. And there's a little bit of glue just oozing out. And as this hardens, it becomes a really hard area, and it gives you great protection. I wouldn't touch it. It's going to be real hot, so we're going to put the um, end cap on the other end. So we'll go to the other side. What we like to do is take off about a sixteenth of an inch, score it, pop it off, grab those two little hair thin wires, and in this case they are together here. Grab your needle nose pliers and pull them both off. The next step is we don't need this much of the um, exposed wire showing. So we're going to cut that, but just leave a little tip. Cut it. And now we're going to grab the PVC glue. We're just going to smear it on the end. And you can touch the EL wire, it doesn't matter with the glue. Grab an end cap from the five pack. Slide it on. And in about a minute, that'll be glued on there so well that you'll never be able to take it off. We have a test inverter on the bench that we're just going to plug this in now. And if we did our job correctly, this should light up. The very, very last step we do is to make sure that this is everything is done properly. We check the two wires coming into the connector to make sure that they don't pull out at all. So that's good. We're going to wiggle this area that we soldered, not by much, just wiggle it, and if the EL wire does not flicker, then that is a good solder joint in that area. The last testing area is going to be the tip. Hold it on the end, wiggle it. If you don't see the EL wire flickering, then everything is done perfect. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to seeing you at thatscoolwire.com.